Hey lovelies, um, yeah, so today I started, and I, I should have filmed before, but I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I've got this little bistro table that comes with two chairs. I'm going to have to replace the cushions. I just got to figure out how to get the cushions off the damn chairs. It's cast iron, um, really pretty little uh, table, and I want to make a little breakfast nucci. So I sanded the top already. I should have waited because it was really uneven. And as you could tell, that it, uh, I might have to do another. The sander's not sticking, and I have a lightweight, um, or light grid paper, so it's not really going into the, um, wood like I like to, like it to have. But where it was kind of warping up from being in someone's garage, um, I've kind of flattened that down. So that's, that was really my, my goal in doing this. And what we'll do is, um, you know, obviously clean up the... It's not bad. The cast iron is not bad. There's some rusted spots and whatnot. So I will also um, maybe sand that down a little with just regular by hand sandpaper instead of the machine. The hand, the Sand it by hand instead of using the hand sander. And, uh, yeah, I'm still feeling kind of crappy. It's been about a week now. And I, I figured out why I feel crappy. It's because I've been so um, out of the loop and out of the public for the last couple of years due to the, you know, sickness. And then I was had been going to Connecticut, so I'm out in the elements. So I, any little tiny bug is going to attack me because my immune system has not been you know um up to par so anyway i'm gonna i'll i'm gonna stop this and as i progress i'm just trying to figure out what design to do on there and what colors to do on the table i want to make it kind of funky i'm thinking i'd love to do like a mandala type um tabletop with this but i don't know if my hands are maybe shaky too shaky to really do a nice mandala but We'll see, because I'll probably freehand it. Anyway, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you the progression as I go. All righty. Hey, hi. Um, yeah, I'm crunching on some candy. That's a great breakfast of champions. Anyway, um, so I wiped it off after I sanded it. And now I'm going to apply uh, gesso. This is a primer for artist canvases. Um, because when you paint on something, it's only as good, only as, good as the paint that's uh, underneath it or, or the product that's underneath it. So you have to have it, have some, something to be able to adhere to. So I am not a professional wood restorer, though I do have a friend that is. So if I come into any troubles, I might give them a call. Um, but yeah, I'm going to apply this with just a, you know, one of the paint brushes. This might be a little bit too rough and too small, so I might do my angle brush because just it washes out pretty well. All right, so I'll let you know how we're doing. Um, just so you don't know, in case you've never used gesso before, gesso is a very thick primer, so it's really, you glob this stuff on. It, it almost, um, it's like painting with Elmer's glue. That's the closest I could come to a, a, a comparison. I've went around the edges and it'll dry pretty quickly and it's really super sunny and hot out today. So I have to be very mindful that I'm, I'm showing you that and I'm painting over here. Um, and I'm also trying to fill in the cracks. It's really not, I really should have gone with a um, wood, uh, you know, wood, wood putty and covered in those, those cracks, but, um, I didn't. So, cause I'm lazy and I don't think ahead, but, uh, yeah, so this is, this is, it really is. It's like, it's like glue. It's not like paint. Um, and it goes on very goopy. So it takes some time. Like I said, this is primarily what people use for priming canvases when you're going to be doing art pieces on canvas. But I just wanted to show you how, how goopy and gluey it is. All right. Yeah, so I totally uh, messed this one up. Um, I don't know if you can see. You know, I went to the trouble of sanding the table, but being that this gesso is so thick, um, totally didn't think about it. I should have put a thinner in it. Or um, it's just drying, and then 
it's just picking up so I'm just making literally I don't know if you could tell what I just did totally making a mess of the table so when it dries I'm gonna probably have to throw the sander back over it because um, it's very very clumpy and I don't know if it's showing up on here so I'm a little frustrated not frustrated but just a little taken aback um, I was going to hand paint something on here but in light of what's happening with the coats of gesso uh, i might do an acrylic pour which is when you put uh well i could that's another thing i'm not going to explaining that but you you could look it up acrylic pours are really awesome and i might end up doing a, an acrylic pour on the top so it'd be more of an abstract kind of a design and pick whatever colors uh, whatever color scheme i think i might want to use and whatever room this is going in all right, yeah, so I'm going to let this dry and then hit it with the sander again, see what happens. Okay, lovelies. I'm just going to show you the finished table, but I thought I'd give you a little quick tour for that beautiful quilted mat, uh, quilted quilt. <laughs> that rug belongs on the floor, but I put it up over onto that chair because if the animals come in, and then the little bureau, this that mat, I crocheted actually belongs on the floor over here, but I leave them up until we have company. And then my ex-husband's guitar is in here. I don't know why, but anyway. But yeah, this is pretty much our cathedral ceilings. That's the bathroom over there. Ceiling fan. And then just a little area for TV. And then my husband built... Hope oh, this is not making you dizzy. There's two, um, he built that in. He put a closet, built this in with the bureau, and then another closet, and then you have the front door. But what I really wanted to show you was the table. Now, disregard the um, two antique mirrors that are behind here, because they're just there for safety purposes. Well, this little bistro set, that I purchased um, for like 20 bucks at a tag sale. Come on, how could I say no? And I was refinishing it in the beginning of this. It's been a little while, but I also found some cushion and just crocheted a seat for that one. And this one, I can't get the seat off, so I just crocheted a little circular seat cover and then I crocheted a little rug. I wish I had more yarn for that because I would have liked that to have been a little wider around. Um, I might be able to find something that I can add, maybe even a white. And then this is how the table turned out. I was going to paint it and after, because I was so upset when I put the um, the gesso on here and it was, you know, sanding it and then I had to sand it back down because it was all gloopy, goopy, but I actually left it. I did sand it so it's very smooth. Well, there's a couple little nudgies, but I left it like this because I think that looks really cool. It looks like distressed um, wood and I, I th put numerous coats of poly coat on top of it. So I, I don't know what the bathroom looks like. This mirror, hey, yes, I'm in my jammies. Um, that mirror's got, that was a window when we, when we bought the house. That's where the house ended. This room is an addition. And you can see there's still paint and it's got to be cleaned and whatnot. But this is my grandmother's little lingerie bureau that I have for handing me down. And then again, here's our bathroom. I'm still working on it. We got the jacuzzi tub. Again, the blanket belongs on the ground or the rug um which i haven't uh i leave them up just in case the animals get in here but yeah some, i made that little decoration there there's merlin and that little hanging thing i made um and i made the curtains they're glittery brown black glittery this i found at a, a tag sale i'm just sorry about the glare on it but just so Victorian and gorgeous. And the colors just kind of went here. Then our pretty cute little uh, bathroom, whatever, uh, sink. Yeah, hello. And then I leave 
you know, toothpaste, there's, there's new toothbrushes, new hair brushes and such. And then this is going to be, uh, there's going to be a shelf. Oh, sorry about that. It's going to be a shelf about this high. Underneath is going to be a mini fridge. Um, this is going to be on the top of the, the, the counter, I should say, pushed back. And this way you'll have like a, an area on the counter space to cook. I know it's a tiny little niche, but um, it, it'll, it'll suffice for one person. And then our big shower, excuse the string, my husband had something hanging up there. But there's our big custom shower. It holds three people comfortably. We haven't tried that yet, but um, we're assuming with two people in there, it's pretty cozy and more room. And then again, these are crocheted uh, rugs that go, you know, for the floor mat and in front of the bathroom. And I've got one for the sink. And then my messy little cabinet of incidentals that people might need if they're coming to stay. Oh, I didn't show you this, the decorations. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I'm not really, you know, a Susie Homemaker type person, so um, I just put crap wherever I don't, and that that needs. We're, we're going to repaint the whole house, but um, oh, and here's uh, one of my favorite Indians, Geronimo. He's painted on a rock. Isn't that gorgeous? But yeah, that's that's my. Um, this is the little room that if you come to visit me, you get to stay in here. And we can lock you in if you'd like to be locked in. But you have, oh, and then there's also these lights too, which is cool. So if you're laying in bed and you decide you want to read or have some overhead behind you light, you have those beautiful lights there. Yeah, this is really getting dragged out. I'm sorry uh, for dragging this out, but I uh, just wanted to show you the finished table, spin, 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 the finished table, the little bistro set. If I get back here, that's cute. So you can make a coffee or popcorn and sit here in the morning. It's just nice because you have your own little private spot. So that's it. And um, yeah, come visit and I'll just show you the door because that's where we're going to be leaving from. <laughs> hey, love you guys. Be well. See you soon. That was, gosh, I don't know what's wrong with my tongue.